guys, today we are going to. Uh, I'm going to show you how to pass data back and forth between two view controllers. So, create a new Xcode project, choose a single view application, product name, I'm going to call it Passing Data Tutorial. And we're going to use a storyboard and we're going to use automatic reference counting. Click Next and then click Create. And in our storyboard, it's when we choose a single view application, it already it already gave us a view controller and we're going to add a second view controller onto there and we're going to pass data back and forth between these two view controllers. And after we put a second view controller on there, say file, new file, we're going to add a Coco Touch Objective-C class and in our class I'm going to call this view controller 2 and view controller 2 will be a subclass of UI view controller and we're not going to target for iPad and we're not going to use zip for user interface. Then click next and then create. So that creates our view controller 2.h and view controller 2.m and we're going to change the class for our view controller 2 instead of UI view controller the custom class will be view controller 2 and now I'm also gonna add the the ident identity of the storyboard so in our view controller 2 storyboard ID I'm gonna call it view controller 2 and in our view controller 1 our storyboard ID I'm gonna call it view controller so it'll be the same name as the class name for both of the view controller and view controller 2 for storyboard ID and now I'm gonna add a in our first first view controller. Let's change the background to distinguish the difference between first and second view controller first. So the first view controller, I'm gonna make the background orange, and the second view controller, I'm gonna make the background yellow. Okay. So in the first view controller. I'm going to add a add a text field and I'm going to add a round rect button and I'm going to add a label okay and in our second text field I'm gonna add the same thing I'm gonna add a label first and I'm going to add a text field and I'm gonna add a round rect button okay so the behavior that I want uh, this tutorial to do is whatever text information is entered into the first view controller's text field. When the user presses the button, this data will be displayed here on the second view controller. And the user also has the option to enter more text field in the second view controller. And when the, this button is pressed, um, the data between the first label and the second label will be shown here in the in the first text field's label. So let's work on that. So in the first text field I'm going to put a placeholder text saying first text and in the second text field placeholder text I'm gonna call it second text and I'm gonna rename the button the first one to be pass text to VC2 button and our second button, I'm going to rename it to append and pass back to VC1. It's a long button name. But, all right. So that's that should be it for our storyboard. And I'm going to make the connection between the, the view controller one and the header files. So hide the utilities area for more room to work with. Click the text field, control click drag on here. I'm gonna call it first text field. Okay, 
first text field type will be UI text field storage will be weak and the label control click drag type will be UI label storage will be weak I'm gonna call this display label one and in our our button will be a will be an action so the connection will be action type will be pass text to vc2 button that's the name type will be id event touch up inside argument sender <clears throat> and in our second view controller we're also going to make the connections so the label control drag um, display label to type ui label storage we connection outlet and same thing with our text field control click drag connection outlet name text field to and type ui text field storage is weak connect and same thing with our button is an action connection is an action name append and pass to vc1 and type will be ID, event, touch up inside, argument, sender. And we're going to add an additional property to here. Additional property. This one will be strong and non atomic. And the property will be an NS string. I'm going to call this string from text field one. Okay, so what this, what this property I'm going to use it for is when. When a user enters information into this text field, I'm going to store it into this property for the second view controller. And I'll show you how to do that. And I'm going to and I'm going to use this property, the string from text field 1 to to display here on this label. And we can also add another property on our first view controller so that when the information gets passed back, we can display that into into this label. So this is it. This is in our view controller header file. Add property strong non atomic and in a string string from VC two. Okay, just call that string from VC two. And now we are going to. Oh, and don't forget to add this um, UI text field delegate because we have to remember that we need to dismiss the keyboard when when a user types something in the text field so in our UI text field delegate when a return return button is clicked we're going to dismiss the keyboard so do the same thing here UI text field delegate at that and now we're ready to we're ready to do some coding you know it takes a while to set up but all right, so that's our view controller header, view controller dot h. What it looks like, we have three properties: a uh, text field, a label, and a string from VC two, and you have an action which is a button. Now we're ready to code this. So in our view did load method, we're going to we're going to set the delegate method of the text field first. So self. Um, Self dot. Uh, what do they call my text field? They called it first text field. Okay. Self dot first text field dot delegate equals self. And in our text field should return. We're going to say return text field resign first responder. Okay. So that when the return button gets clicked, it'll hide our keyboard. And now we're gonna go to this method pass text to VC2 button because that's the method that gets called when the button gets clicked. So we're gonna need to import uh, view controller two dot h in our view controller dot m, and we're gonna create a pointer to an instance of view controller two. So we'll say view controller two VC2 equals self dot storyboard self dot storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier and the identifier that we gave this originally was 
um, view controller tool. So we're gonna use that. So view controller tool, self dot storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier view controller tool. So we did that here to remind you. So in our storyboard, when we chose our view controller, uh, that one is our view controller tool. Look at the attribute inspector. Look at the um, the you the identity inspector and we set our storyboard ID here view controller too and that's what we're using right here and we're gonna set our view controller to um, string from text field one property to be whatever our text field is so vc2 dot string from text field one equals self dot first text field dot text and we're gonna say self present Present view controller VC2 animated yes completion nil and from there from there it should pass it it should set the property of VC2 the string from text field one property into whatever text label was displayed in our text field so let's run that for now and see how see how it goes okay iOS simulator is taking a while okay so first text, let's say A, B, C, and pass to, let's hit return and see that the keyboard goes away. Pass to VC2, we click it, it goes to a second view controller, but uh, nothing's been set here yet because we haven't done anything in the view controller to implementation file yet. So we'll set that right now. But um, the property is already set, the string from text field property. All we need to do is in our view controller 2.m in our view did load method we are going to say um, self dot display label 2 dot text equals um, self dot string string from text field 1 oops not sorry just string from text field 1 and we'll run it again say rgh return pass no call it auto correct to egg all right pass to vc2 and it says egg on here because of this line of code now we're gonna we're gonna move on to the next step which is we're gonna allow the user to type something in here and 